Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Ain't We Got Fun. I was just about to throw away this crystal growing experimental kit when I thought I'd give it a brief review. Unfortunately, I didn't take any photos or make any videos about the process. There are some really thorough reviews on Amazon.com where I bought it that you can check out. It was around $22. I think I have bought three or four crystal kits and this one is my favorite so far. I get them mainly for a nephew who is interested in crystals and rocks right now. But I did all of the potentially dangerous parts. So it says for ages over 10, you can probably judge whether your child, uh, nephew, whoever you're giving it to, or yourself, is capable of handling these kinds of chemicals. It says chemical components from Belgium and Australia packed in Hong Kong and it says conduct seven crystal growing experiments. It is easier to just do them all at once since you use hot water. I just boiled the pot and then did all of them at once and there are uh, colored packets and you mix the colors to get what's shown here. So I do have one big regret I didn't read the instructions as thoroughly as I should have and ended up making what looks like it might be a permanent mess. I'll show what it looks like. And if I had just uh, read a little bit more thoroughly, I think I got excited and was in a rush. And I'll show you what ended up happening to my windowsill. So this windowsill is already pretty damaged to begin with, just from water. I did everything very carefully. I laid a placemat down where I was working just to protect the counter. And I brought everything over to this windowsill. You have to let the crystals form for about a week, around seven days. And they spread, they got on the windowsill, and they it's, it's hard to remove right now. I'll, I'll see if there's anything that can take care of this, but it is like really hard. Probably also because the wood is really dried out and damaged. I probably need a metal scraper and maybe bleach. I'm not sure. I really don't want to do too much more to this wood. And there's one step that might have helped prevent it that I ended up skipping and I'll show you what that is. In the instructions, it tells you to do this and there is also a picture and I just ignored it. Like I said, I must have been excited and uh, just didn't read it but you have this you will use this to let the crystal sit and form and then at the end you will also use it to display them and there were these rings here and I thought they were for displaying them they come like this you would take this part out and as the mixture is sitting you just leave this and you would just leave it for a week and uh, any crystals that kind of come up and spread over the edge should be caught on this little cardboard there. So I didn't do that. It got on the windowsill. I don't know if that's happened with many other people. I've had other crystal kits where that was not an issue. Maybe they had taller jars. Some crystal kits that I've purchased, they didn't come with any sort of little cup like this for the crystals to form, so that's very nice. And I ended up using a candle jar, which was a little bit too big, so the crystals kind of didn't look as nice as I wanted, but it was so tall that nothing odd happened with the crystals forming on the windowsill. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you how they look. So these, you know, if you buy this kit, don't, don't ignore using these. Here is how our crystals turned out. So you let them form for about a week and then you rinse them and then we just let them dry kind of sitting like this we put them back and let them dry and i was going to just leave them like this and put that cap back on but i saw that in the on the box this is how they did it and then they just put the little cups on top, so the cups you use to form the crystals will also be used to protect them and display them. You probably wanna make sure you keep these away from small kids who might grab them. Some of them are pretty sharp. This one, I don't really know why it turned out so flat. Probably operator error. 
or that's just, you know, crystals are unpredictable. So here's the cup that we use to form one of them. You just set it on top like that. So I really like it. It has pretty much everything you need. You don't need to go out and get any extra jars or cups. I think I did use a Pyrex measuring cup just to hold the boiling water so I could pour it more precisely. But I think most people have that for cooking. I just used it for boiling water, not for, not for any chemicals. It came with an extra cup that I think was somewhat heat proof that you use to mix the crystals. So that's what you have. I think this is great for anyone who's interested in crystal kits. It's a really nice value and it would probably also be good for science experiment. And that's my review. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Take care. Bye.